Hey everyone, Panem here again. Today we're going to have our second to last episode of, uh, well, our Kaiba Weekly Marathon. So uh, this week was dedicated to Kaiba, the man himself, and we have been opening Kaiba-related products every day for one week. Today is day six, and so we will be opening the last of the swag from Kaiba, which means that this is swag episode uh, I believe 11 right now uh, so we have this awesome uh, Kaiba's Majestic Collection card case so uh, apparently it holds over 100 sleeved cards uh, it looks pretty good it's got a uh, burst stream it's got the KC logo it's got uh, Majesty uh, something like that yeah whatever the name was uh, so yeah this looks pretty cool we've done the binder uh, we've done the sleeves, and now we are doing the card case. So, uh, this will be a little shorter than the previous vids of, uh, Kaiba's Legendary Swag, because there's less to do with a card box than sleeves or a binder, you know? But, uh, this seems somewhat durable. It's not like those big Ultra Pro, uh hard plastic boxes, but this seems to be durable enough. It's fresh out of the ceiling, so it's uh, it's a little, <laughs> let's say, crusty, you know? It's uh, when it's not been used much yet, it's a little harder to use, but it, it works pretty well. Uh, I like that they did the full image underneath so it doesn't hide anything or it's not just blank or uh, transparent or shit. Uh, this is pretty legit. Uh, you can see through it so you know if your cards have been stolen or not. Like you, you We'll test it out I guess but uh, you can see how thick of a deck you have inside. So I guess you could see without having um, to open your box, uh, let's say during a uh, tournament, if someone has been looking through your deck box while you're busy doing something else. And it comes with a little separator. So uh, that's pretty cool. This looks pretty darn sweet. You could put this to separate your main deck from your side extra or whatever. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, so yeah. This is a little deck box. Uh, I think it's 7 or $8 Canadian. So I guess you guys in the US would pay maybe 5 6 for this. Uh, you can write your name here, and it's pretty big compared to a normal box. Let's say uh, this is a random deck box I've got. <laughs> I've had this deck box for a long, long time. Uh, but uh, as you can see, it's quite bigger. So I do believe it could hold at least 100 cards. Sleeved or not, it should hold it. It's slightly taller, but I don't know if that means anything at this point. You don't really have taller cards nowadays. But uh, yeah. Let's just give it a shot. I'll just take some random uh, cards I have lying around nearby. Let's take this pile here. So this is just a bunch of random foils I've got uh, lying around because I've been doing a lot of cleaning in my collection lately. So unsleeved cards do fit very well. Even there's a little too much space for unsleeved cards. Uh, if you sleeve them in, let's say, standard sleeves, not slim fit, Shout out to Master Monk. <laughs> so these are standard size uh, and standard fit pretty well. There's even a little bit of loose for standard sleeves. There's a little bit of loose over here. So slim fit sleeves would be even looser. I don't know if you guys care about your cards being loose in the box or not. Uh, usually it's good to have a little bit of space just in case, you know, you want to take your cards out. You don't want them to scratch on the side and stuff like that. So I guess this box is good for that. Um, I do believe it could easily have at least 100 cards in there. Like, no questions asked for that. Let's just try it out with even more cards. Let's put some fire foils in there instead of just earth. So here we have quite a bit of cards. We'll close the box. And we can see how thick... It is inside. You, you can see this. So, you know, when you're at a tournament and you have cards in there and someone uh, keeps eyeing around, and you can see there's a difference in uh, 
color slash thickness in there. So, you know, it's it's kind of good that it's transparent because people won't be uh, able to steal without you noticing um, as well as if it was, let's say, this kind of a box. This, you wouldn't know until you open it, you know? So, uh, that is its m main good point. Uh, it seems durable, but I wouldn't bet on this box being the best uh, quality for uh, resisting multiple years, you know? But it does look pretty good. And it comes with a little separator, so that's good. That's pretty cool. Um, other thing is, I've been trying to open and close it very often just to uh, get it looser and stuff like that. But something I noticed is that sometimes the plastic over here does somewhat overlap on this one. And so it might, uh, you know, sometimes it might uh, just stop it in general but overall that's a pretty good box for five or six dollars I mean if you want to give this as a gift to uh, let's say um, a younger duelist or uh, a kid just starting uh, that's a pretty good box for that if you want to play your blue eyes deck uh, in a box of uh, Kaiba's stuff well this is a good box for that I mean it's not like you're gonna use that deck um, too too often in big big tournaments or stuff like that it's not like you're gonna go across the country to participate in a regional or a championship uh with this box this is not the box i would use for that this is the box i would bring to my locals or a box i would give to someone who wants to put some nostalgic decks in there or whatever uh, you know this is a good box for entertainment purposes it's not necessarily a good box for tournaments so, uh, yeah, this was a quick review, and this was episode, I think, 11 of Swag, and it was the sixth um, vid of the week marathon of Kaiba-related products. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you did, like the video, uh, comment down below if you have any suggestions for future vids, if you have anything you want to ask about this product or any other products. I review products, I do product openings in TCG, OCG, I do some uh, deck profiles once in a while, uh, so yeah, just ask away and I'll see what I can do for you guys. My main goal is to entertain you guys and to inform you about this hobby. So um, ask away. Uh, otherwise, share the video because, you know, sharing is caring. And the more people know about the hobby, the better it is. And finally, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Sometimes there are some giveaways and subscribing is the main thing to enter the giveaways. Uh, otherwise, it also allows you to get notifications for future vids because there will be quite a lot more video coming your way guys so uh please stay tuned for that and until next time guys panem out